with cutting out those brackets again just like we did the front axle again those were riveted, riveted in so that was a quite of an adventure getting those taken apart brackets off so that i could sell the front axle and the rear axle so once i got all that taken off so i had to pull the truck out of the garage to make room for the rear axle that I pulled out of the Mark 8 that I pulled the engine out of. I don't have any pictures of that, but I should have had some. So I took the rear axle, started mocking it up. Measure, 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 measure. You gotta make it straight. But once I got everything put in and cut up and set where I want it, I started burning it in place. I then purchased some Mustang wheels from a guy who didn't want them anymore obviously they were this the right bolt pattern for my truck i did have to get a two inch spacer to space out the rear axle because the rear axle is five inches shorter than the stock front axle of the crown pick i then picked up a long bed 65 to 66 or 67 64 from 61 to 64 they had the quote unquote wrong bed on them but i don't like that style so i went with the 66 bed and put that on the back of it then took the bracket for the steering column and chopped that with my son and welded it into place to where i could fit my fat thighs underneath the steering wheel son was super excited to uh, try that out hope you enjoy here's what the truck looks like now as far as everything put together stay tuned for more clips